Just Tech Guy Things asks, can we get a tutorial on how to update the uh, the the baby ape? I am stupid. <laughs> um, tech Guy Things. Uh, if you aren't sure how to upgrade the baby ape, then there's an argument to be made that it's better for you to keep flying it and enjoying it than to try to upgrade it and potentially break it and then be stuck and not be able to fly it. I, I hesitate. You see me hesitate at the beginning of this because like, how are you going to learn to do it? Right? How are you going to learn to upgrade your quad if you don't do it? And, and this is your quad and you want to upgrade it. But I would say, why do you want to upgrade it? So like, what's, what's going to be the most enjoyable use of your time? If you try to upgrade it and you then like render it non-functional and don't know how to get it back, is that like the only quad that you have to fly and you're going to be super sad? Are you upgrading it because there's a feature that you want or you think it'll fly better? Or are you upgrading it just because, like, I don't know, there's a new version. I must upgrade it. Um, I don't want to discourage you from enjoying the sort of natural inquisitiveness and curiosity that makes this hobby such a pain in the ass and also enjoyable. But also, there's an argument to be made that if you have a quad that flies perfectly good, just fly it and enjoy it. And wait for the time when you go, you know what? Betaflight 4.3 has this amazing feature that I really want. And okay, I got to upgrade this quad. And if you're already there, then maybe, maybe you need to know how to update it. But especially if you're a beginner, most of the time I feel like people just get themselves in a real discouraging situation by trying to upgrade when they don't have a really compelling reason to do it. And then they break their quad and they can't get it back.